In this module, we will learn how to create and manage notifications. Notifications are used to alert administrators and computer users about potential security problems. You can configure notifications to alert you and other administrators when particular kinds of events occur. You can also add the conditions that trigger notifications to remind you to perform important tasks. For example, you can add a notification condition to inform you when a license has expired or when a security risk has been detected. When triggered, a notification can perform specific actions such as log the notification to the database or send an email to one or more individuals. It is worth noting that to send email notifications, you must pre-configure an email server to communicate with the management server. To set up an administrator notification, select the monitors page and then the notifications tab. You will be asked if you wish to use a previously saved filter to view notifications. Saved filters enable you to create or limit your view of the notifications that have been triggered. And we can particularly um, save that for individual administrators. In this case, we'll leave it as the default. You can also specify the filtering in the time range. Let us now look at the notification conditions. Here we can see a number of notifications that have been set up by default on installation. Some notification types contain default values when you configure them. These guidelines provide reasonable starting points depending on the size of your environment, but they may need to be adjusted and trial and error may be required to find the right balance between too many and too few notifications for your environment. So set the threshold to an initial limit and then wait for a while. And then after a few days, you can adjust the notification settings. For instance, here we have on the virus definitions out of date notification, we have a setting of three computers with virus definitions older than seven days. You may wish to adjust that. For example, when configuring virus security risk or firewall event detection, suppose that you have fewer than 100 computers in a network. A reasonable starting point in this network is to configure a notification when two risk events are detected within one minute. If you had 100 to 1000 computers, detecting five risk events within one minute may be a more useful starting point. Let's take a look at how we can add a new notification. We select the Add Notification Condition. And from the list of notification types, we can choose one of these. Let us choose the sonar definitions out of date in this instance. So we need to give it a notification name and create a label that you'll recognize. In the what filter settings would we like to use, we could again filter this information, maybe create a particular group or particular computer we wish to target. If we leave the default, it will affect all computers. In the what settings would you like for this notification, we can choose the thresholds that will trigger this notification. We may want this only to warn us for computers who have checked in and been online today. But in this default, we have 100 computers with definitions older than seven days. In the what should happen when this notification is triggered, the default is to log and email the administrator of the occurrence. But you can also run a previously created batch file if you wish. We wish to click OK and create the notification. And here we can see that new notification is now listed. We can easily edit that or delete it by choosing the tasks on the top line. You manage the notifications on the monitors page and you can use the home page to determine the number of unacknowledged notifications that need your attention. 
Let us have a look at the home page now. And here we can see we currently have no unacknowledged notifications in the last 24 hours. And this brings us to the end of that module.